All right, we got another oldie to work on now. Different kind of old though. All right. Hello, hello, yo. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Problem is there's a huge delay on kick for some reason. All right, so this gentleman brought this in. All right, so this gentleman brought this computer in because he was getting messages that it's overheating. This is an early, I say early, this is a mid 2000s build. And got, let me see here. I'm trying to find my HDMI, here we go. It has a video card that actually supports HDMI, which is crazy. It's got an Ice QX HD 6950. Gonna gigabyte motherboard. This is a GA EX58. It's generally pretty old. This is DDR2 memory, or it's early DDR3. Doesn't actually say, but has an Intel processor. From what the gentleman said, but we know how much to trust that. An old, an old hard drive, mechanical. I'm not seeing, not seeing an SSD. We have eSATA ports on the front, card readers. Yeah, let's see what this thing's about. So the main complaint, overheating. And he's getting messages, oof. Look at these phase LEDs on there. You don't see that on computers anymore. Switched over. Yeah, so it'll let you know the status of everything. Can this play games? I don't think so, Emily. I mean, probably, honestly. Let's load up into Hirons. Let's see what we get. This thing is, this is old. But you know, it still kind of works. Sort of, sort of for sure. Ain't doing squat. See if we can get anything. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. Hey, we got a motherboard. Let's see if it'll let me get to the the BIOS. Or not the BIOS, the boot menu. There we go. The delay between it getting from the stream to the to my actual screen is wild. Let's see if it can actually read my IODD. Yeah, it looks like it can. So what I said is, why wouldn't it be able to? The guy uses it every day. It's an Core i7-920. AMD Radeon HD 6950. I want to find temperature. So just doing this, it's 61. I mean, so far this isn't bad. It seems to be like maintaining this. Let's throw an artificial load at it real quick. See if it overheats and shuts down. Yeah, it's, it's flowing. It's caked, but it's flowing. We're gonna, we're gonna see here. We'll do a before and after with this. We'll just hit the CPU. Just remind me, like, and we'll do it. All right. Well, let's hit this 100% for 15 minutes and see what our temperature is immediately 80. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna shut off. We're hitting 100. All right, <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's not doing so good. Yeah, it definitely exceeded what it should. It should even get close to. All right, let's turn the compressor on. We're gonna blow everything out. There is a bunch of dust in here. We're gonna see if we can improve it just with a simple cleaning. So be right back. 
Okay. Just removed 10 pounds of dust from this thing. It, like they removed so much dust from this, it looked like it was legitimately on fire. Same, same deal. Let's get into it and see what's up. That's definitely not what I selected. This thing is actually running Windows 10. This thing is actually terrible and it's fighting me now. Come on, give me the boot menu. Did I ever use a floppy disk? Yes, Emily, I've used floppy disks. All right, same thing. Don't copy that, floppy! I remember that. It's like using a flash drive, Emily, just a lot slower. All right, round two, after cleaning. All right, so already we're sitting in the 50s versus being in the 70s before. That's already like a difference. So 68, 70. You don't understand how much dust was in that, but still, I don't know if it's gonna make that big of a difference. It's moving air, unlike before. Oh, it went down. 97, are we gonna break 100? There's 100. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's better, or it's not perfect, but it's, it's actually better. It's not, not throttling anymore. This temperature's coming down. It didn't hit 115 like it did last time. The problem is like here, this is the easiest way to tell if this is actually having any effect. Let me just stop this fan. If this number goes up, which it did, which it's not, which it should when I do this. Yeah, this cooler isn't doing anything. I'm, I'm gonna say it, it's better. Like it's actually better, this temperature's going down crazy that it's better, but it is. This is not exceeding 100 anymore. It's just getting to 100 and it's just stopping. They're like you can't feel anything. Both tubes are warm, but that's to be expected. I'm just, I wanna look to see what it, what it actually got up to before. I mean, this thing is hot. So before we got up to what? So we started running it, it hit 98, 100, and then it locked itself at 100. But still, this should not hit anywhere close to 100. Yeah, we're gonna do that next. I said, I'm curious to see uh, like if this would actually be compatible. I keep this here as like a test thing. The NHL9. 65x 140 errors more than likely not so the current all right let's the thing that's interesting to me is that it's locking there at that 100 percent that i'm fine i'm actually finding that interesting so let's put some new thermal paste on there all right let's the other thing that's interesting this, about this old Corsair cooler is like, I'm curious if this, this pump is even pumping. Like if the pump is even spinning, like it doesn't, the screws are all, have a good night, Emily, are all thumb screws. They're not actual, like there's nothing for me to put a screwdriver in. Whew. Yeah. There is, there's, that's it. That is, that's all the thermal paste. It's like nothing. I don't think that's gonna solve this issue, but I don't think there's like any thermal paste left or thermal fluid in this whatsoever. Let's go down a limb here. Come on. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not about to crack one of these open. I wouldn't even know where the fill port is on this. 
Well, these ones might actually be like relatively easy to refill. What I'm doing right now is 100% like the longest of shots that this has any chance of actually improving this. Because if this doesn't, then we'll get this ordered. We'll get something ordered. And get him out of here. All right. Let's see if just that was enough to improve temperatures. All right. Round three. All right, we'll just check it in this one. No, no. Utilities. Hardware truth. All right, here's our numbers. Let's hit it. All we did is we added thermal paste. So it's 60. Sixty-seven. There's no way that's what it was. I, I, it's hard for me to believe that thermal paste has that much of an impact. I mean, it's updating pretty, pretty real time. 66 67 like it's it's climbing but like even this one back here is it hasn't immediately spiked into, into the thermal paste the thermal paste was so dry that it was causing the cpu to overheat thermal paste we're at 68 we'll let this run I am flabbergasted. Mm, we're at the 73. I'm working on this computer and it constantly was hitting 100 degrees Celsius. All I did is replace the thermal paste and now it won't go above 75. That more than anything illustrates the importance of keeping thermal paste in its viscous form versus being completely dry. So if your computer is suddenly overheating out of control and it's been fine, first thing to do, check to make sure your thermal paste on your CPU is still good. That is, that is actually insane. Just actually insane. It's gonna make it through the full, the full test, no problem. All right, I'm gonna let this thing run. Like, no reason not to. Just let it keep running. That is incredible to me. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.